Hello, my name is Paul Setner, and I'm an Applications Engineer with Advanced Solutions Incorporated. Today, take a look at some of the what's new content in our 2012 products. And today, we're going to turn our attention to Autodesk Inventor 2012 and one of its newest capabilities, the iLogic Form Builder. Uh, it's a great new addition. It's going to start to help build on top of the already existing rich iLogic content within our designs. It basically allows the end users to utilize those iLogic models a lot more intuitively. Uh, gives them the options at their fingertips and gives us the ability to basically create easy dialog boxes and menus for end users to work with. So here I have an existing flat screen assembly and we'll take a look at some of the existing and predefined user parameters that I already have set up. So some controlling the display, orientation, uh, the color, and the material, and then also some of the rules that I already have created controlling and, and controlling these different iterations and how it's going to actually interact with my assembly. So using these parameters and my rules, I can take this to the next level and start to develop a nice user-friendly custom form so that my end users, the designers, the engineers can start to get those design requirements from sales perhaps. And as we start to manufacture our different products that come in a more iterative uh, set of standards, we can develop this custom dialog box to make the whole process much more enjoyable, much easier for the engineer or the designer who needs to basically process and develop that custom iteration. So let's make a new form from scratch and start to really just get into and dive into how we can create this new form. So here's all my custom parameters and then down here at the bottom is the toolbox that gives us all of the functions to really develop my form. So it's all built on top of Visual Basic and VB.net but without prior uh, programming knowledge, it's, it's really kind of hard to go ahead and develop a, a new custom dialog box inside of Visual Basic. So this really takes that prerequisite and really throws it out the window and starts to make this process a heck of a lot easier. Uh, utilizing drag and drop processes, I can start to develop and really generate this new form uh, very, very easily. I'm just going to browse out to a, a custom picture I have of our existing assembly. Let's add a few tab groups so that the end user can basically just swap out which tab he wants to make changes to. Let's give it a few titles so they know exactly which tab to go to to change the specifications that they want. I'll simply grab some of my parameters. So I want color under my physical list. Let's grab material. the extension of our assembly, which way our display will be facing. Let's also add a few static options. So let's say the height of one of our link arms and then also the size of the monitor we're going to want. And again, watching how dynamically the form will start to update, let's add a few quick options to this, to this form. So very easily starting to come down to our behavior of this type so I can say well I don't want a combo box let's make one of these a radio group I want three different columns so it's, it's nicely displayed across my form also add a quick tool tip hit our OK button it's going to very quickly generate this form. So now as I come into this model, choose my form button, it's going to bring up a nice user-friendly menu that our end users can start to define from this template and basically pick all the options. And we want this to be extended out. Test some of the kinematics of our assembly. Based off customer requirements, we want to see this in a, a Chrome monitor. If we're going to choose maybe a larger monitor size, let's go up to our large size here, 32 inch. You can see a nice little tool tip displaying. We want a longer extension. And since we're making this out of a larger monitor, we want to use my high strength steel. So very easily starting to generate this custom form and making it so painless to start to add this rich content to our models. Thank you for your time today. I hope that you'll find that the new form builder will allow you to take your designs to the next level. 
If you would like to request any additional information about what you saw today, or of course would like a free quote set out, feel free to find us on the web, or of course give us a call at any time, and we'll be more than happy to help. Thank you, and look forward to hearing from you.